Okay, so the four barrel rainwater collection tower has been operational now all through the summer. Uh, the water lasted longer than I thought it would, and it just rained the other day, and I didn't hear the refilling sounds. I thought, I really want to be able to see how full it is. I used to look at the back there, and you could see how much the barrels bulged out. It's actually easier to see from over here, I think. So you see the bottom one's really round, and top one's a lot flatter, but that's not a very exact measure. Uh, oh yeah, I've added that plywood there to keep from twisting, by the way, and anchored it to the house. So I've got my quick release hose system and the ball valve. I want to know well, how much water do I have in there. So I got some quarter inch clear tubing. I think it's the stuff they use for uh, fish tanks for the air. And I got these little staples are like this. Uh, it's a little piece of paper in there with a, a staple I just hammer in. And so I hammered those in. Uh, periodically to hold it up against the edge there and it goes just up above the top board that's eight and some you know eight feet and change just a reminder that tube there is just the air it goes in the top of each barrel and uh, provides an air siphon probably not the right word but air vent uh, so yeah it goes down in there fills in okay so what I did was I got went to the Home Depot and this is a one half inch PVC cap this is an adapter from one half inch uh, I guess there's one half inch out here and then this little um, barb connector for your sprinkler systems and then this is a one half to three quarter national pipe thread and then this white part is the hose thread to national thread adapter and the garden hose thread on the other end I screwed in my quick release so now I can just pop off my regular hose and pop this one in and then I'll just give it a little bit a little bit of a turn there and you see it shooting up and you'll see that it's full but it's pretty sweet because you can totally see through it how if it's water up there or not and then when I'm done I just drain it and it's only going to use a handful of water uh, that that water there is from several tests so it's not very wasteful at all and it won't let stuff grow because of sunlight getting in your rainwater but anytime you're really curious you can see exactly how much you have and the whole thing costs about I think it was like 27 cents and a buck 27. So, I mean, definitely way under 10 bucks for all that.